talking about some freezing drizzle that is rolling through the area. So now we have the freezing rain and drizzle on top of that snowpack. Let's take a look at the uh, weather computer. It's a icy, snowy start your day. Definitely had some extra time to uh, clear out the car. Probably take you about five minutes to get that snow and ice off the car this morning. As we look at our 7 Super Doppler, you can see a little bit of snow here in Buffalo and that pink on the screen, that is the wintry mix. That's what you're seeing across the southern tier with some more freezing rain starting to roll through parts of Cattaraugus County. We do have winter weather advisories posted for all of western New York through 6 p.m. today for northern Erie, Niagara, Orleans and Genesee counties as that wintry mix will be with you off and on throughout the day as temperatures hover near the freezing mark. Now south of Buffalo, the advisory will expire at 10 a.m. as temperatures will climb above 32 degrees. Winter storm watch is now posted for all of western New York starting at 6 p.m. tonight for snow about 4 to 12 inches of accumulation highest amounts near the Lake Ontario shoreline. Then you head south of Buffalo across the southern tier. We're talking about an icing event could see a tenth to two tenths of an inch of ice accumulate overnight tonight into early Friday for areas south of Buffalo. 25 degrees winds out of the east northeast at 12 miles per hour temperatures in the 20s across western New York low 30s right now in Bradford. Again, we picked up about three to four inches of snow overnight. Now we have the rain, a freezing rain and drizzle on top of that this morning. The wintry mix continues Buffalo northward this afternoon, rain across the southern tier, and we're back to snow for most of you overnight. However, we'll have some freezing rain south of Buffalo. Hour by hour forecast, the green on the screen is the rain south of Buffalo. The pink's the wintry mix and the uh, white and blue there, the snow. Notice that wintry mix south of Buffalo overnight, and then all snow during the day on Friday with some lake enhancement coming in off of Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. As far as your ice accumulation model, here's an updated uh, run here showing about a tenth to Whoa, almost a quarter of an inch of ice now. That number just jumped up from the last model run. So again, as we've been talking about, potential for significant icing across the southern tier overnight. And here's the uh, snow model comparison for Buffalo. Most models showing about six to seven inches of snow. The North American model showing a foot. I think that one is kind of off. We'll stick in that six to seven inch range here in Buffalo. Let's take another model comparison across the entire area. And uh, we looked at the uh, Euro last half hour. The GFS showing about four to five inches of snow across the southern tier. Higher amounts as you go northeast of Buffalo. I think some parts of Orleans County could see a foot of accumulation by late Friday. Snow, some sleet, some freezing drizzle this morning into this afternoon, as, except for the southern tier where you're going to see some rain temperatures in the low 30s. Tonight, we're back to snow with some tough travel. Overnight lows in the mid 20s. Now, there is a possibility that schools could be delayed or closed on Friday due to the icing and the potential for some significant snow. So parents have a plan tomorrow if that were to occur.